Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth video training course. And in this course, we're going to learn about audio. Uh, we're going to learn about editing and mixing audio. And the first part of it is we're going to go over the different types of audio tracks. Now let's go over to Premiere and we have a an empty project here and let's go create a new sequence and we will be able to see all the different types of audio tracks. Now for your master track we have a stereo track, a 5.1, a multi-channel or a mono track. And it just depends on where your uh, video is going to. If you are going to say YouTube or Vimeo, you might have stereo or 5.1, depending on if it's a interview or it's a, um, a music video would be 5.1 if you have all of the files for 5.1. Uh, Multi-channel, it could be one of a few things. One of the ones that I know is uh, they use 16 of the channels. They use one channel for their low frequency effect. And then the first five would be the voices, the surround sound voices. The next five would be the uh, surround sound uh, sound effects. And the next five would be the surround sound music. That way, if you are sending it to, say, you have um, an English uh, movie and you're sending it to uh, Mexico or Japan or something, they can replace the, the voices and they still have the original sound effects and the original background music. So that's just one of the, uh, the multi-channel that they, they use it for. The mono... If you're doing just a straight narration and you don't have any background music or anything like that, like this one could easily be mono because it's just my voice and just a little bit of audio from the uh, the timeline, but most of it is just my voice. So mono would be perfectly fine for this set of videos. Now, this is one you want to make sure you set it correctly at the beginning because once it's set, it uh, you can't change it. You can come in and add and remove and uh, uh, modify the audio tracks here, but your master track, once it's set, that's it. There's no changing it. And let's look at the different types of track types that you can have in your project. Of course, we have the standard, which in 5.5 and before, this was called stereo. But now the standard is not only stereo, but it's also mono or 5.1 or any of these other ones. Um, standard is just a generic track. So if you put stereo in there, it'll become a stereo track. If you put mono in there, it'll become a mono track. Um, 5.1, you can have a 5.1 on a single track. So if uh, you have a WAV file that's 5.1 already, you can put it on a single track. And if you've already done all of the uh, mapping, the channel mapping, it can, uh, it'll retain all of the mapping that you put in here. So if you make your background music and you make it 5.1 and you drop it onto a... Um, uh, track here you don't have to do any other altering of it it's already set for 5.1 the adaptive track is one that will let you um, map the output channels to other other um, uh, places so if you want it to go from let's say input one you want to go to two you notice it goes to one and two or if you want it to go to none, it'll go to none. And what that does is it will um, uh, output to wherever you tell it to. So if you want your input one, which is in this one, to go to nothing, you can have it go to nothing. Um, 
the mono track is pretty self-explanatory. It's just a single mono uh, audio track, like my voice, my narration. The stereo submix, the 5.1 submix, the adaptive submix, and the mono submix. Those are tracks that uh, the stereo submix, you can send your stereo tracks through, and it's like a funnel. Let's say you had um, uh, three people with buckets, and they're pouring it into a funnel. You funnel it down to a single track, and then you can apply effects and other things to that track that will affect all three of the ones that are coming in through it and then you would take the submix and you would send it out to your um, your master track but it consolidates several different tracks to where you can then modify them and output them to your master track and it's very useful especially if you have a lot of uh, interview tracks and you want to add a little bit of reverb to it you can add it and it will apply to everything instead of going and applying it to this one and then uh, applying it to this and trying to get the same settings and the same settings over here you can just avoid all of the hassle and just send it to a submix which would then uh, apply your effects to everything now uh, if you have a 5.1 submix you want to send 5.1 audio to that submix if you have a mono submix you want to send it you want to send the send it to whatever submix that your uh the original track is so this mono track you only want to send it to mono submix and in this box you can add and delete the tracks if you want um you just select what you want and it will you can just minus it it'll delete it and you add some more and it will add whatever the last one is so if i change this to 5.1 i start adding you'll see that it adds 5.1 if i then change it to mono it'll add more mono tracks so whatever this last track is and you can always change it afterwards if you don't need uh whatever it's chosen so those are the different types of tracks 